Do you have a study? I can't even deal when you have other people in your video acting up. But anyway, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sano Gang. I'm Reese, the Sano Mom. While we're at it and you're waiting, don't forget to click like and subscribe, comment, ask questions, all of those good things. But anyway, let's get into it. What it's like to be at clinical storing this special one, <laughs> my patient, my tech my escort, my everything. So just take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is my experience. It may or may not be yours as well. But in the first situation, I am standing in a room with three other students. We're all basically fighting for exams, fighting nicely though. We, we know what we're doing. Um, and we're just waiting for a tech to go by. So take a look. Do you have a study? Yes. Okay. So in that little silly clip, that's if you're actually being attentive and making sure that you're watching which techs are walking by with their piece of paper. That means they have a patient. You have to ask because they will not tell you when they do. Um, if you do not pay attention, this is what will happen. So as you saw, if you're not paying attention, no study. Once the door is closed, you are not allowed in. Just like when you're in there, you are not allowed to go out until the end of the study. So if you're not being attentive and you don't ask them if they have a study or you're looking somewhere else and you miss that they walk by, that's it for you. <laughs> um, so at another location, we are assigned to one room and we are not following the text at all. The tech actually comes to us Whatever patient is in that room is just the patient that we get. We can't bounce from room to room, so check it out. All right, and here you go. You have a wonderful day. Oh, hi. I'm just gonna check your wristband. So my name is Reese. I'm the ultrasound student. I won't be doing your exam, but I will be getting you set up today. Super awkward and super dark and sleepy. Most of the time I am like, I try to bring stuff to read and whatnot, but ultrasound rooms are dark. So, you know, reading in the dark is kind of tough. Um, and you're kind of just, listening for the sound of the stretcher coming down the hallway to see if a patient's gonna come. So again, super awkward. It's you in the room, the patient is in the room. Sometimes they're unconscious and sometimes they're looking at you and you're like, oh, hi there. Yeah, like I'm not your tech, but I'm awkwardly in your room. <laughs> but um, it kind of helps you with patient care and understanding how to talk to the patient. I end up just verifying their bracelet, their name, their birthday. I explain the exam to them. Um, if the tech would like, most of the time I know which tech wants what, I'll go ahead and get the patient set up too. So it's not so bad. Now, those were two hospital situations. The one outpatient that I do go to, that office, we stay with one tech, we follow them around like a rat tail. We're always beside them. Um, for every study, when they're on their way, you kind of ask questions and they tell you what to do. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so do we have another patient? Yes, this time you're gonna do it. You can get the patient's history, high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, and other medical history to get them started. Okay, got it. So of course, there's way more than just high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. We ask if they smoke, if they have had heart issues, you know. Depending on if you're an echo or vascular, it changes the questions that you ask, but a lot of them are very similar. Either way, you're right on the tech, you're with them all day, up to the point where you're doing report writing. So after every exam, 
you have to write the report to send to the doctor. So at the um, outpatient office that I'm at as well, you get to sit down with them and get really up close and personal and just ask about pathologies, what's normal and you know things that you've learned that you didn't learn. That's kind of your opportunity. Hey, do you mind if I sit and uh, watch you do the report for this one? Sure. And last but not least, never forget to ask to scan. That is not something that defers from clinical site to clinical site. You need to ask to scan. That is why you're there and that's what they appreciate. Even if they make you feel like, oh my gosh, like you're in the way, they want you to scan. How can you learn to scan if you don't ask? So basically you just say, hey, do you have a few extra minutes? You back scan for five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes, you never know. Um, that's your opportunity to show the tech how well you scan or what you're struggling with if you need help. Um, maybe they'll love how you scan more than you think, and then they'll make you start doing the exams. So you never know. Okay, but. so your exam is done, um, but is it okay if I go ahead and get a few extra minutes? Sure. Great. So I'm just going to start exactly where they were. Just try to see some, you know, images. But um, anyway, this is just like a little quick and silly intro to how it is at clinicals. I'll make sure to do a part two where I kind of just chit chat a little more in detail about what to expect. But I do want you to know that not every clinical site is the same. Take every experience with a grain of salt. Learn whatever you can while you can. Um, take criticism and just like absorb it like a sponge. Don't let it break you down let it build you up because you're gonna get it because we're not perfect we're students you know but anyway thank you so much for watching again sano gang i love you guys so much Mwah.